we're going to enjoy today as well. We have Chef Tom from the Irishman. It is Friday after all, and uh, you are making a very, is it a traditional Irish dish? Oh, well, Irish meatloaf. I'm not sure. You know, you know, it's uh, not really that traditional. Every from what culture I'm aware can claim of. Yeah. a meatloaf. Yeah, meatloaf is part of every culture. Uh, we change it up here. We have a little ground lamb that we use as opposed to the, the regular normal, beef or yeah, pork. the regular beef or whatever. So, we have uh, the ground lamb here, and then of course I have some onions, some red pepper. I'm going to dice up. Uh, whole you have a medley of vegetables. Is this always something you throw into it? Uh, no, this is actually just the vegetable we're featuring at the oh. Irishman. It's our rustic vegetable mix. We've been uh, we've been getting very good feedback on that. So that's you guys, is this a dish for Restaurant Week for you guys? This is one of the uh, Restaurant Week options. Yes. Okay, how's Restaurant Week going? It's going pretty well. Busy? Yes, been pretty busy. Need a reservation to get in, especially for the weekend, right? Ah, uh, the reservation. Our reservation policy has changed a little bit. Actually, only parties of six or more. So uh, if you're coming in, we advise you come in early. Come in early or stand yes. in line at the bar. Yes, and of course with the patio opening back up, I'm not sure how warm it's going to be in the next week here. You know, we'll have to we'll have to see. But you're opening a, it up regardless. Well, I mean, depending on weather. If the weather is, you know, if it's feasible, believe me, it'll be open. I heard it's going to snow. <laughs> we'll talk oh. to Amelia about that later. Uh -huh. Okay, so you listed some of the events. lamb. Yes, I have lamb. Uh, of course, I'm going to put a little egg in there. I've got uh, a little granulated onion, white pepper, just a little bit of ketchup, hot sauce, Worcestershire. Uh, tarragon, of course, our salt pepper mix, garlic shallots. I uh, have a little bit of mince, thyme, onion, and breadcrumbs. Um, why do you add garlic or onion powder? Just to give it, a, just to enhance the onion flavor a little bit. You know, just what I like to, I cook the onion in there. I mean, I'm going to put the onion in raw when we start cooking it, but I just always enhance it a little bit with a little okay. bit of a little bit of onion. All right, excellent. Um, when we come back, we're going to get started putting this together and also tell you some events that are taking place at the Irishman. Welcome back. We're with Chef Tom in the kitchen cooking our Irish meatloaf. He's going to get his mic back My mic, on. yeah, that might be useful. <laughs> it's Friday. Okay, so this is one of the items you have on the menu for restaurant week. Yes, uh, we have the Irish meatloaf, uh, which pretty much is just the uh, ground lamb instead of, instead of your traditional beef or... So whatever you would use, yep. And I have some red peppers, some onion, uh, some fresh herbs, uh, mint tarragon, a little rosemary mixed in there, and uh, thyme. Okay. And basically we're going to mix it all together in a, in a mixing bowl here. I'm going to start doing all that. And okay. I've got a gravy. Uh, I've, I've take a little, took a little bit of the drippings from the, uh, from the lamb that I've cooked up, and I'm uh, making a little pan gravy there. Now, if you're making gravy, how frequently do you need to stir it? Well, once it comes to a rolling boil like that, you don't have to watch it quite as much, but okay. you want to definitely keep it prevented from sticking. You want to go probably pretty low with that. Okay. So I pretty much, yeah, thank you. And basically just starting to mix my onions, my peppers. I uh, have a little bit of garlic here. Okay. Probably about half a, half a tablespoon, I'd say. Okay. And some shallots. A little bit of our salt mix. Always, always a little bit of that. Yummy. Tarragon. A little bit of ketchup, even though it's lamb meat, I still, still just a little bit, just to give it a little bit of tomato flavor. Okay. I have some white pepper, some onion salt, a little bit of hot sauce. Again, that's something I always, always a little bit yeah, of hot sauce. Yeah, you can sauce. put more in if you want to and a little, little bit, bit more. Right, and a little bit of Worcestershire in there. And, and I have... Two little, eggs? Well, I'm going to go about one and a half on the egg there. I just wasn't sure how much I'd use you. The thing with meatloaf, you want to see the consistency that it is once you start mixing it together. And okay. if you need to add breadcrumbs to it to kind of tighten it up so that, because if it's not, you know what I mean, if it's if you don't have enough breadcrumb in there so when you cook it. So just keep the egg handy and kind of Right, it's kind of a mixture, mixture between the egg and the uh, breadcrumb. Okay, well, while you mix that, we'll come back in the kitchen a little bit later, continue with our Irish meatloaf. But now we're going to send things back to Victoria. Hey, Vic. Chef Tom again on Friday. <laughs> kind of guiding him along. Actually, you know what, about a year ago, I would have seen this boil and my instincts would have just said, leave it. Well, but I saw it and I thought I should just stir. I appreciate it. I appreciate the help. <laughs> yeah, right. Um, you are making a lamb Irish meat loaf? Yes. I'm pr I've uh, pretty much just assembled all the ingredients here. And I'm just going to mix them thoroughly and then uh, go into a 350 degree, uh, 350 degree preheated oven. Okay. I'll give it about 25, 20 to 25 minutes, I would say. If, by chance, you don't like lamb, same thing, you could just re uh, replace it with uh, beef or pork or something? Yeah, um, you know, I, w I might not use the t some of the tarragon and mint and the rosemary. In a because normal. lamb is a more flavor flavorful. It just tends to complement. It just tends to complement the lamb flavor. I mean, I, I can do. You know, I've done a traditional meatloaf without some of those ingredients, but pretty much the onion, the garlic, the peppers, all that's going to be the same. Probably just change up the seasoning just a little bit. So. Okay, um, this is one of the dishes that you guys feature at the Irishman for Restaurant Week. 
$20.12, you can get meatloaf, or there's a Santa Fe pork, beer-battered pork medallions. Wow. Yeah, I did those, did those last week. It was, oh, oh, and I was off. Yeah, you missed those, and you got the lamb. You, you got oh, the short end of the stick I there. I did. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> um, buffalo chicken pasta, succulent grilled chicken, celery, carrots, garlic, shallots, and a rich, creamy hot sauce, Irish pub-style well. tilapia, so you can satisfy the um, Lenten. Dish. Yes, the tilapia is actually that's a very nice dish with the uh, pretzel. We have oh. a pretzel crust on there and an Irish mustard beurre blanc. It's quite tasty. I love that. Gosh, yeah. you're incorporating these fancy words: succulent beurre blanc. Yeah, um, we try. We do a weekend. <laughs> and a Guinness stew. And the you Guinness made that, stew. didn't you? Or Guinness something? Before. I have not made that. Actually, Chef Mike that was on here. That's that's one. Of, that's one of his signature items. It's uh, it's made very similar to the uh, shepherd's pie, except it's beef tips instead of instead of the lamb. So actually. That's right. like one of my dishes. Yeah, that, right would, up that my would probably alley. be right up your alley. Maybe we can see. I can borrow the recipe. Maybe I'll try to. I'll try to do that one next. You didn't pack it out. You just used the regular because you don't have a. We don't have a meatloaf dish, do we? Uh, no, I didn't use that. But I mean, actually, we've been doing small little. Maybe a little bit smaller than that at the at the restaurant. You get kind of a personal personal portion. We haven't been doing it in the pan. I've just been doing them smaller. Smaller portions, individual size. Okay, so once you get it in there, what do you set the oven to, and how long do you cook it for? Well, I would say 350. Uh, you don't want to do it. You want to do it a little bit, you know, not too high. 350, about 20, 25 minutes, and I mean, you can do it by temp, or I pretty much do it by touch. You can kind of tell when you when you touch. When it's the, done. Yeah, when it's done, you kind of. Is you this want, well, something you have to stick one of those uh, thermometers in? The well, if you lock? have a thermometer, you could. Yes, you could go that route. Uh, but as you can see here, uh, you can pretty much tell when the meat. Meat has a certain consistency, a certain uh, texture to it. You can, I can basically tell when it's done. And okay. then, of course, we have some of our rustic, rustic vegetable, our uh, mashed potatoes. As you can see, I've cut up the uh, portion of meatloaf, and okay. we'll just put. Is it that in hot? Here. Isn't that hot? Ah, it's a little warm. Oh my goodness. It's okay. I have no, I have no feeling in my hands anymore, Victoria. Don't but worry. It's all in your yes. heart. Speaking of your That's heart, right. are you engaged yet? I am not engaged. Did yet. you see it, how it, I segued right into it that? It's been a while since you'd asked. So <laughs> I I, you know, I, I figured it was coming. No, not, not quite yet. That'd but, be a great April, April Fool's joke, right? No, we're uh, not even gonna. That is cruel. I would never do that to Sarah. I would never do that. <laughs> I'm gonna get. A, I'm gonna get a comment from her mother tonight. I know this is going to happen. So. He didn't just mean kidding, it. Just kidding. Well, just kidding. I would never do that. To, would never do that to your daughter. It's funny because uh, Dan. Our photographer right here. He had asked you before I even got to it. So everybody, all of everyone the crew, here knows. Everyone knows. It's one of those. It's like a running joke around here now. Almost. It's not a joke. It? We mean well, it. We well. want you to do it. <laughs> Ask her to marry you. I don't think it's you. a joke for uh, Sarah and her family either. So uh, or my mom or my mother at that point. So we'll uh, some point here. Some point soon. Pressure don't worry. getting to you. A little bit, you know. It, well, here, it, take a bite of meatloaf. It's comforting. All right, I'll try some meatloaf. You try since, the meatloaf, and I'm going to try the mashed potatoes. Try a little bit of our, our okay, cool canned mashed potatoes too. there. I just don't like lamb. I'm sorry, but I tried it. I try everything. You Let me just try some of your mashed potatoes. Mmm, delicious. We have a great uh, second helpings coming up. Yes, we do. Chef Tommy has put the white gloves back on, and we are making a very clever lamb burger. Yeah, this is also featured. This is not part of the restaurant, but this is our normal menu. We also have just a lamb burger, which. Again, if you want to go a little bit, change things up, not traditional burger, the lamb meat, again, though, you have to like lamb meat. This, again, might not be something that What's in you're the lamb? Into. You've got the thyme and the, what else? I've already in mixed in, well, rosemary, a little bit of thyme, a little bit of tarragon, a little bit of mint. Of course, our, uh, our magic, our, our salt mixture that, that we put in most everything, and uh, a little bit of garlic. And then I've, I've already got some fresh herbs in there, but I'm just going to throw just a few more because... What would you say is a key to making any kind of burger that makes it, I hate it when they're so dense, like you're eating just a big, thick burger that's been pressed together when you make it more fluffy. What is it, just like breadcrumbs or something? Well, or what you, is it? How you cook it? If you're it? making them by hand, you, or by hand, you can probably add an egg. You can add, you know, a uh, little And that'll bread. make it lighter, you know how, it, like egg a crumbly? Egg add a little, yeah. Yeah, that might help a little bit. Okay. See, I, I don't know. I, I like a nice, I, I like an, I enjoy a nice thick burger. I've been, uh, I've been known to. I, I think I'm a strange one in that. <laughs> my husband does too, but I like it when it's a little bit light and fluffy. Well, yeah, okay. You can try that. You can try the egg in there, see how that works out for Next you. Next time when you come. Yeah, maybe. With beef. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here's one thing that's going on at the Irishman. Sunday, April 15th, 6 p.m., Finian's Gaelic Football Club.
a good companion to Irishmen. We had the guys in very cool, yeah, very great fun. accents. Yes, yes, um, great accents. That's their four, it's four person teams. It's their monthly pub quiz. Test your knowledge. Win great prizes and raise a pint. Great prizes. Great yeah. prizes. <laughs> um, and also, they have restaurant week for the rest of this week through Sunday. Right. Okay. All right, so you're cooking this up? Fry yeah, it? I just, I mean, you can, you can do it in the oven. Again, same, same temperature we use for the meatloaf, 350. You could probably just do it in there to temperature. I'm just going to sear it off a little bit in the pan here. Start it and then. Is lamb something that you can eat like the steak raw? Ish, right, right? I rare? would go more medium. I would go more medium on it. But people order it medium rare. Yeah, you can eat it that way. I wouldn't. I wouldn't necessarily. I, that might might be a burger. I would even go a little bit more on the well done yeah. side. And I generally tend to go medium rare. We so. had a chef in here, and Joe Arena mm -hmm. actually ate raw lamb. Raw lamb, huh? Yes, uh, I had the ER ready. Yeah, I don't know about <laughs> I had that. Right, I'm not on my phone. Not ready sure if to you press. have paramedics on standby here, <laughs> here at Wingy, but uh. Okay, I'm going to bring my good friend Amelia in. Amelia, you can taste the lamb burger. I'll taste it for you. <laughs> All right, I'll taste it here. <laughs> we've had a great week. We've done spring cleaning. We've had some great chefs, mm -hmm. including ending it out with one of our favorite chef, Tom. Um, but coming up, we've got stuff stuff next week. We're going to be back in the kitchen. Chef Gretchen's going to be here making a carrot cake on Monday. Oh, carrot cake. Low fat, too. Oh, right up your alley. You hear that? <laughs> well, that's <laughs> not what I do. We're going to be kicking off <laughs> Easter plate's very, week. Plate's very hot. Have a great weekend. Thanks for joining us.